Bullet last technician Frank Wuchika, better known as Big Frank, provides directions on how to cut out lateral notches in float glass using a manual method. The toolkit consists of Silberschnitt System 2000 oil glass cutter with T-handle and cutting fluid, lateral cutout template with two suction pads and a bola cut opener. Most glass cutouts to accommodate cable channels or fittings are done by drilling and sawing. This is very time consuming and results in poor quality edges. With a chip brush, you can clean your felt work surface. Use Bowler Glass Cleaner to clean the section of glass where the cutout is planned. The lateral cutout template is adjustable with a width of 40 to 240 millimeters and a depth of 10 to 100 millimeters. With the two section pads, affix the template precisely and securely to the glass so that both stops are flush against the edges of the glass. Push the transverse handle onto the glass cutter and position it so that you can exert pressure against the cutter head with one finger during cutting. When working with templates, you must use a cutter whose cutting head rotates freely 360 degrees. The Silberschnitt System 2000 is the only cutter that has this feature. Don't forget to fill the tank with cutting fluid. Before you start the cutting process, open the vent screw. Simulate the cut with the correct hand position at right angles to the cut. This causes the cutting fluid to be applied to the glass. To execute the actual cut, exert vertical pressure on the handle of the glass cutter. Score the glass with controlled pressure and the slow, steady speed. Always continue the cutting or scoring motion beyond the edge of the glass. After completing the cut, remove the template and wipe away the cutting fluid. The cut opener included in the kit has a turning pressure ring and a counter pressure screw and must be adjusted to the glass thickness. Please note, the single line in the markings corresponds to the cutting line on the glass. The double line corresponds to the pressure points of the three-point system. The controlled transmission of force allows the cut to be opened delicately. First, open the cut up to both radii. Important, only up to the midpoint of the radius, seven millimeters, nine thirty seconds of an inch. Repeat this procedure with the opener turned upside down to also open the cut from below. Only then is the break in the glass actually completed. See how the cut runs. All cutouts must always be opened from both sides, from above and below, in order to achieve a clean and perfect break. Do not tap the glass. Now the cutout must be safely removed. This requires that a trapezoid shaped segment be cut. Put your left thumb in the middle of the shape and guide the glass cutter in a trailing freehand position with your right hand. Hold the glass cutter at approximately 70 degrees. The auxiliary cuts must be opened likewise from both sides. The resulting trapezoid must be fixated with the cut opener and the piece of glass is simply pulled out without twisting. The remaining corner pieces can now also be pulled out easily. The result is a clean, efficiently produced lateral cutout with no damage to the glass. The cut edges are so smooth that simple deburring is sufficient preparation for further processing, for example, for tempered safety glass. Additional comparison of edges drilled or sawed versus a professional manual method.